Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. As a new channel, I've received a lot of encouragement, which means a lot to me and keeps me motivated to paint. Thank you so much for your support. I also hope to better help you enjoy the fun of painting in the upcoming videos. In your comments, I've received a lot of feedback. Many people want to paint but don't know where to start. Some give up after just sketching, feeling unable to continue. So in this video, I want to take a new approach to help you overcome these difficulties so you won't hesitate or be timid anymore and can fully enjoy the pleasure of painting. Today, I will provide you with the digital sketch of this artwork and you can find the link in the description. After downloading, you can print it on paper around 150 grams for painting. And now, don't hesitate. You can try to use the paint you have on hand, no matter whether it is watercolor, acrylic paint, or gouache. Of course, different paints will have different effects, but what truly matters is that you can paint with me. The inspiration for the painting today comes from the sky and mountains in Studio Ghibli animation scenes. The original size is A5, and the digital sketch is the same. You can also print it larger according to your needs. I'm still using gouache this time. I will show you my color mixing process as much as possible in the video. Now, let's start! Step 1. Lay the basic tones. This painting has a vertical composition. The key is to differentiate the foreground, middle ground, and background. I prefer to establish the basic tones for the painting at the beginning. This way, when detailing, I can draw the colors I want based on the color contrast of the painting and maintain a certain tone. Step 2. Detailing Background of the Scene Let's start detailing the clouds in the distance. In sunlight, the parts illuminated by the sun has a warm color tone. So when we paint the bright parts of white clouds, it's not just white. You can add a little yellow to make the color richer.
Step three: Detailing, middle ground of the scene. Now let's depict the middle ground of the scene. The farther away the mountains are, the lighter their color. You can get a soft color by comparing it to the color of the clouds. The mountains and plants in the middle ground can be depicted with relatively simple and omitted strokes. This way, they can be distinguished from the detailed depiction in the foreground, creating a sense of space. On the basics of the major tones, gradually deepen or lighter the colors, adjust and enrich the entire pictures, adding details to better connect the middle ground and foreground. Step four: Detailing, foreground of the scene. When depicting the foreground plants, I choose to use darker colors to create a contrast with the middle ground. When you want to express spatiality in the picture, you can use different techniques for different parts, such as contrasting simple strokes with detailed depictions and contrasting colors. Many people ask me about drawing plans, but it is quite simple. You just need to distinguish which leaves are in front and which are behind to create a sense of space.
delve into detailing the flowers in the foreground. Flowers have inherent colors. By adding bright and dark surfaces, a very detailed flower appears. Make the final detail adjustment. Darken or lighten the parts as needed and make the picture more spatial and detailed. Now, our artwork is complete. I wonder how yours turned out? You can find a digital copy of the completed work in the link in the description for your reference when painting. You can also use it as wallpaper, but please don't use it for commercial purposes. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave a comment under my video. If you paint along with the video, you can share the final artwork with me on Instagram. I'm really looking forward to seeing your works.